Okay, here's our thermostat. It's not very hot up here. Okay, it clicked. She says nothing's happening and sounds right. I don't hear the blower. It's a nice big attic. This is an American standard system that we've had a lot of issues with. It's a really sloppy job. I mean, look, they didn't even change the drain pan. Oh, and I hate these units. I hate these units with a passion. All right. Let's dig into it. <sighs> Nothing's happening. This thing leaks Freon. We constantly have to put Freon in it. I'm really trying to get her to replace this thing. It's, it's a little two ton. This is red, blue is common, blue and green are kind of tangled together. You know, I guess I should have opened up the heater compartment, see if we had any power coming to this air handler. No power. I see the ground wire. Okay, so we have power from each leg to ground, but not, uh, not uh, across. We don't have our 240 across. I'm really going to, I don't like to use the word push but I'm going to encourage her to let me replace this system because it has been nothing but trouble. But for today, I'm gonna see, I gotta go check the breaker and this is a big house and I gotta find the breaker panel. I hate these units, man. You know, I don't know what the engineers at Train and American Standard were thinking when they made these gaff. This is a gaff, a G-A-F. Now the TAMs are not too bad because they're bigger. But this is, these gaffs are just horrible. Train likes to nickname their air handlers gaffs and TAMs and then the metal ones are TAMs and, but they suck. I 
can't even get that to go back in. Okay, there we go. Okay, let me go find a breaker. Here's our breaker panel. We have a sub panel. Heater. Might just have a bad breaker. Yeah, one in three says heater. And it's a 60 amp. Let me go see what kind of power we got now. Okay, I think we might have a breaker going out. Uh, but the blower's running, so I know we got voltage. Yep, 242 volts. So, let's see. Hmm. I don't feel anything happening with the line set, though. Well, this thing is leaking air like crazy. Oh, wait a minute. Nope. All right, I'm going to go to the condenser because I'm not feeling any refrigerant flowing yeah I think I feel it flowing but we're gonna go check it all right here's our condenser See if it's lost any Freon. Hear the bearings in that fan motor they do not sound good Okay, the pressures look okay. Since last time I charged it up, but if you can hear that noise, the bearings are going out in the fan motor. But I've got another call that I need to move on to, so I'm gonna leave this one like that. I'm gonna submit an estimate for a new system because we have 
charged this thing twice in less than a year and we've put two capacitors on it in less than a year and now the fan motor's going out and it's got that gaff air handler that they did a horrible job on the installation um so i just think it's in my opinion it's time to uh upgrade the system or at least because see it i believe it leaks out here too i know the evaporator leaks but i believe it's got a good freon leak out here as well so between the freon leaks and now we got a fan motor making noise i just think she's better off changing the system and it's nothing but a ton and a half so it won't cost her an arm and a leg to replace it so i'm gonna submit a quote on that versus a new motor and uh you know the air, that won't solve the air handler problem or anything but you know we'll we'll talk to her and see what she wants to do all right guys um, so again on that one uh we got an outdoor fan motor making noise it leaks refrigerant inside and out and that gaff air handler they just they did a horrible job replacing it um so i'm gonna submit an estimate for a new system i'm gonna let her know about the january one upcoming price increases and let her take it from there i know she's gonna have family in for the holidays people are gonna be staying up there so I'm going to submit an estimate for a new system and uh, let her take it from there. But, you know, she she's going to have a fan motor fail on her here before too long. And uh, we'll see what she's got to say. So if we get the uh, job, I'll let you guys know. And uh, that's going to do it for this one, though. Just a breaker. I, I, it looked like it was tripped. I reset it. The unit came right on. So we're going to leave it like that for right now, but we'll probably go ahead and change the breaker if we do the air handler job. Or I mean, if we do the change out, we'll put a new breaker and in the panel. And uh, that's it. So I'll let you guys know what she decides. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you all on the next one.